is kind of the next installment uh, playing around with OpenVMS on the VAX um, under uh, SimH. Um, today, kind of going to load up the uh, licenses, get those enabled, um, so we can get beyond just having system login at the console. So, what I have here is the initialization file, and the only change I've done is to uh, create an ISO image with the license file, which is a set of DCL commands that I got um, as part of the hobbyist program to send you an email, get you uh, get your license. So this is just basically a script um, to run that'll uh, enable all the licenses. So let's fire up the, uh, the emulator. Hopefully this will be pretty quick. So as I said before, this is going to be the uh, the bundled TCP IP that came with the VMS 7.3 um, distro. Now, what uh, what I might recommend, you know, is what I've been using for my kind of not my demo system is uh, multi-nets TCP, just because I want SSH2. Whereas this uh, doesn't have it, so this is just some basic services, but we'll use this in order to bring other software over. So this is kind of the first step. Now, log in a system, and we'll mount that CD. And we'll have to set the override because uh, the CD doesn't have a VMS label. So that's the, the license file, so let's copy that here. Now, one of the things I have to do is to set the file attributes, um, and this is one of the cool things about VMS is it has, you know, attributes for the file. I mean, I guess I say it's a cool thing. It, it frustrates me a bit. Um, Unix managed to get by without this sort of stuff, but we need to set this to say this is a stream line, f f you know, with a, a new line character delimiting lines. So there's lots of different options there, um, but let's take a look at what it is right now. So you see we have a uh, record format is undefined, so we we'll want to set that. Record format is a uh, stream line feed. So now we take a look at the directory again, we see stream line feed. We should be able to see that looks good. So this is basically just a script, so it's a DCL script. It's a lot, it's, you know, uh, 2,400 lines. So let's get out of there. And I'm going to run this, but I'm going to pause the recording now, uh, just because this will show my license keys. Um, and uh, so I'll be back in a minute once this is run. Okay, I'm back from, from there, and what we're going to do now is um, install the TCP IP, or UCX, um, which I think stands for University of California Extensions, which means it's based on the BSD uh, TCP IP, which is a good sign. So I'm going to uh, unmount the CD-ROM, or the emulated CD-ROM, and now I'm going to stop the, uh, the emulation and see if I need to detach um, RQ3 or DUA3. Don't need to do that. I guess the dismounting ejected. So now I'm going to attach an RQ3 um, the distro distribution All right, so and I'm going to continue so that's a, that's a good way to do some some CD flippings uh, so I need to mount this make sure it's mounted here Still haven't gotten used to the six zeros is the root directory on a device. You know, the, some of the file system quirks on VMS are a little, little interesting to say the least, coming from a Unix background. So things like that and the, the single dash to go up a level and the, the three dots for the the children, 
Um, let's see what we have here. So let's uh, head over to the TCPI, TCIPIP directory. Uh, I can't talk today. And the, the dot prefix for indicating a subdirectory. Curious stuff. So all we're going to do now, this is a PCSI file, is to do a product install. The other type of package you'll see is more of the save set package where you use VMS install with I think one L, maybe it's two Ls. So we're just going to accept the defaults for this. And this should, uh, this should run pretty quickly. After this we'll configure it and some of the software we want to pull down just in this one, keep it kind of a brief um, video, is just show that we can pull down software. So really this is just to say, hey, we want Telnet so that we can get in from uh, from the outside over the network and we want um, to be able to FTP out well and in as well uh, one of the more advanced things would be to use NFS um, and in fact on my my other system you know my other emulated fax uh, using NFS to present uh, files which I find really handy I, I kinda like NFS it's it's great and this is one of the, these kinda kinda debates I've been having with some some colleagues is NFS versus iSCSI and again, none of us are sysadmins at this point. It, you know, many of us have been in the past, um, but I guess in in my era when I was doing that, is NFS was kind of kind of what you would use. iSCSI came along later, but the NFS ZFS integration is pretty sweet. So now we've got that. Let's configure it. So this should be pretty quick. So put the interfaces up. Okay, so this has, you know, I, I ran through the install already. Um, but we're going to uh, call this VAX2, um, IP address of 251, subnet, mask is okay. And we want our default router. Um, so 16811 and we want name resolution uh, which will be critical um, and then let's exit here now what we want to do is set up the client components and as you see like I said I configured this earlier um, but I made a big gaffe on the uh, recording and pulled out the mic cable so had to restart um, so we have FTP enabled and Telnet enabled on the client which is what I want and for the server again Telnet and FTP let's get out of there and we're gonna just start up these components um, so let's see if we can uh, if we can FTP uh, out and download unzip which is what we want uh, to be able to to get uh, some software there so let's let's create a directory go to here and we're going to go and uh, get the latest unzip from the process software website yep, this wants uh, anonymous instead of FTP over and uh, let's get the unzip um, for VAX so pretty straightforward um, we now have unzips okay well we now have uh, 
unzip downloaded. Uh, the next video will take a look at installing some uh, layered products, maybe some languages, um, Fortran or Basic. Um, would do COBOL, but I know nothing about it. So, so that's it for today. Thanks.